TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. POP versus IMAP email. What is the difference between the two types of emails? Many years ago, when it was typical that we had one computer sitting in our office, POP email was incredibly popular. In fact, it was really one of the few choices. The way POP email worked is this. If I sent you an email to your email address, typically that email would go to an email server and it would stay there until you went into your office and hit send and receive in a popular email program such as Microsoft Outlook. Once you hit send and receive, that email was retrieved off the email server and brought down onto your computer. And it stayed there. That's where it was located. It was no longer on the email server. The only place you could review it or see it was on your computer. But then IMAP was developed. And the way IMAP differs from POP is this. In this day and age, we have many different ways we want to check our email. For example, we might want to check our email on our computer, or maybe on a smartphone, or maybe even via webmail, or possibly an iPad or a tablet that we own. The difference between POP and IMAP is this. When you check your email in IMAP, the email stays on the server, regardless of how you check it. A good way to think of this is think of it like cable television. Cable television, you can go into one room, turn on a sporting event, go into another room, turn on the same sporting event on a different television. Well, IMAP's sort of the same way. All the events, all the emails reside on your email server, and you're just using these different tools to be able to view it. So in my opinion, because of this, everyone in this day and age of smartphones and mobile devices really should be using IMAP. IMAP is the clear winner. My name is Tony Holowitz. Thank you for being here. Created using Powtoon.